The Gardasil Cancer Vaccination Program was a pilot project by the World Health Organization in partnership with the National Health Department, trialed in West New Britain province that targeted school girls between the ages of 9 and 13. According to Dr. Yvonne Sapuri from Kimberley Hospital, most girls missed out on both the second and third round of treatment. Statistics showed only 719 vaccines were left after the second treatment. For those vaccines they were given, one was a cold chain issue, um, which I'm, I'm not too sure about the cold chain issue because it was beyond my control. Um, the cold chain issue was that some were already frozen, some of the vaccines were frozen um, before transportation through Port Moresby to West New Britain. So that's one of the issues um, and the numbers. Yeah, and I'm not sure who is in, you know, who is in charge of the logistics of bringing the um, vaccines over and whether that count at Port Moresby was the same as the count in, in West New Britain when it had arrived there as well. Dr. Sapri told the inquiry the higher risk of women population diagnosed with cervical cancer. If this pilot project has failed because this will minimize and prevent cost. The net effect of having, not having this vaccination is that we are unable to prevent them being vaccinated at an early stage, so we're ultimately um, the coverage protection for these patients will be very low. Special Parliamentary Committee member and Northern Province Governor Gary Jufa was so pleased how this program was administered that showed lack of technical coordination and public health awareness. The hearing will continue tomorrow with the panel from the National Health Department led by Secretary Pasco Kasse. Fibon Hakalitz, National MTV News.